Am I really gonna defile this grave for money? Of course I am! Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? I'm here with D Free. What's that? And Zenrot. Uh. And we're here for another in the great series of videos that is Captain Subasa presents uh Orc Collection this time. It's a gotcha video, but this time it's Orc Collection. So we're gonna start I'm just gonna start playing Orc Collection in the background because Orc Collection plays itself and I'm so low on the PvP scale because I have not played this in close to six months that I should automatically beat every single one of these dudes easy. Uh, Orc Collection is still up? Yes! <laughs> like I didn't it, Why I, did they just stop the game? They might as well just let it... I mean, I get it. Because you don't want people to keep spending and stuff. You're gonna no. Produce. Not when you're getting revved up to, for Ore Collection 2. Um, so let's do a little bit of a preset, uh, D Free. So recently, me and Zen did a couple of videos for the uh, for the uh, NES game, Captain Tsubasa Super Strikers Volume 2. Mm. Um, nobody watched it because nobody cares about Captain Tsubasa. <laughs> Yes. So I think uh, the first video went up and it did like I think 20 views in 24 hours, which even for my small channel is very bad. <laughs> that's uh, that's tantamount to like getting nothing. It had like I think two uh, two likes and all. So we've been doing a series of gotcha videos where the main series is that these gotcha videos are brought to you by Captain Subasa, and the idea is is that you should totally go watch those Captain Subasa videos because they're really good. I don't think I will. Well, you don't have to because you're not a fan <laughs> of Captain Subasa, and you can and you you support me in other ways, so you get a pass. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that the reason that they only got 20 views in 24 hours is because almost no one is a fan of Captain Subasa. <laughs> almost no one's like. I was like, hey, check out this really cool RPG soccer game, and everyone was like, fuck soccer. What are you talking about? <laughs> And here's the funny thing is that since we've been starting doing these videos, uh, part two is almost at 100 views. I'd said we would stop doing these videos the second all three of them hit 100 views. And so we're almost at our goal. But here's a funny update. Someone went to the part three video of Kanta Subasa and they actually threw a dislike. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you deserve for putting out trash content on this Dokkan channel. First of all, how dare you say, I'm not a Dokoner, <laughs> what are you talking about? Just because I do an hour-long thing where I talk about Dokon all the time? <laughs> Don't pigeonhole me to the same restrictions as all the other Dokon tubers. Don't be out here putting out trash content on this Dokon channel, bro. You First of all, people love my trash content. <laughs> they come here for, as someone called it, the variety. <laughs> so... Oh <laughs> the variety <laughs> the variety of videos this is the only place where you can find uh us talking about dokkan us looking at your old klondike and dumbar videos and uh Yu-Gi-Oh videos this is the one-stop channel for all of it and i still oh, hold yeah definitely yeah and i still hold the claim of having the most zenrod videos uh second only to zenrod's actual channel <laughs> that's true <laughs> I think uh, there was a good point. I think there was a good year where I could say that I had all the Zenrod content because if you wanted to see him, you came to me. So if you want to keep seeing Zenrod videos, support my channel and go watch the Captain Subasa videos. As I stared longingly at Ore Collection and go, where did it all go wrong? <laughs> Why did you die? <laughs> it was always wrong. Uh... That's why. I love War Collection so much, and it bums me out because it looks so damn good. Even now, all these uh, animations, and it just could never get its shit straight. <laughs> it could never actually like uh, be competent enough to like get catch people on for like further than like the the almost entire. It took one year for them to actually get a stable player base, and all the player base were like. A North American people. There was no, close to no Japanese players actually playing it. Yeah, Aura Collection was great, man. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. We did a lot of good uh, summon videos, too. I got to see uh, your G-Free luck fail you as you tried to get, like, Hiei and stuff. Yeah, you get to see it fail me on, like, multiple occasions. Yeah. And that's also, the Aura Collection is the only video series in which I'm, I was actually knowledgeable about what I was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> It's no, the... I wouldn't. You're always knowledgeable. Yeah, but I feel like my knowledge is different. Cause... Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> Again, I'm, I'm a real feel by player. I can't. I just can't. Uh, uh, actually, like the way Dokkan is now, I just can't bring myself to be like the old days. I can't be like the old days where I was like, oh yeah, let's look at this trunks and merge the Masu and actually uh, take a close look at them. As opposed to nowadays where I go like, yeah, these guys hit really hard, so that's good. Here you go. Here's another one. Yeah. It's tough, especially because I also feel like at some point people started bringing in actual math to Dokkan, and that automatically killed all my <laughs> enjoyment for it. I think so that, having to do math. Yes. Yeah, a lot of Dokkan now is just math numbers and stuff like yeah. that now. And that's in no way me trying to talk shit about like dudes who actually like Mobile Man and uh, tr uh, not True. If I'm no, gonna no, say no, True, no. True does not do math. Um, uh, Lolagami, like they, the work they do is extremely good. It's just that I can't, I can't actually fab put my mind around it. I can't like bullshit my way in saying like I understand this math because yeah. I, I I just don't. I don't understand how these attack calculations work. I understand that I think when you have this many teams together, suddenly the LR Kaelin Khalifa can do like 6 million damage, and that's great, but I also don't know how to calculate that. Yeah, but you're still a Dokkan channel. It's true, I am. Except for my Dokkan... Everyone that plays Dokkan is automatically a Dokkan channel. Yep, yeah, exactly. No matter what you do. Just like Defree, he's a Dokkan. You're, you're a pure Dokkan channel, right? Yep, that's all I do is Dokkan, apparently. I'm a Dokkan tuber. Yeah, I saw your uh, the for that Dokkan card game you were looking at. I thought it was very interesting for Dokkan to have a new mode that was out of the game app completely. It's good for them though. Oh yeah, I can't Entirely remember. Entirely different, name. yeah. Buchigiri, there you go. That's the name of it. Dokkan Buchigiri. Buchigiri is great, man. It's such a fun game. Man, I just wish that it was act. It's never going to be in English. I just wish it was in English. I can't play a card game and not know what any of the cards do. I have a full translation site. Do you? Yeah. Can you? Act but then I have to actually like learn. I have to learn how to play these cards. Wow, I can't believe you. I had Goresh literally translate every card in the game. That guy is great. Seriously, he did. How many cards are in every the game card. right now? A lot. <laughs> I don't know how many exactly, but there's a lot. So I can look up what like uh, some random trunks does, and he uh, will be a perfect translation. Yeah. Literal translation. We got them all. I mean, based on the, the fact that one person could do it, you think that they would be able to release a English version of the game? I mean, they can release one, but they're not going to because of the logistics. Hmm. Just like it's a uh, the company that it's that made it specializes in that type of uh, mobile. Uh, not not mobile, but um, that kind I'm of content. To, I'm trying to play here. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, they 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 specialize in those uh, online games, basically the web games. There we go. So that's what they do, and the rest of that they just never none of those games ever get ported. So that's just kind of the reason why. Mm, and it'll cool. even if it did, it wouldn't get an like an uh, official like application. It would still be a web game. Example. Okay, I think I get it, but still kind of a bummer. Yeah, no, definitely. Because I would definitely love to play a Dragon Ball card game. I was even looking at, because, uh, again, if you want to check out, again, this is uh, dedicated to Captain Tsubasa, but if you want to check out D Free's uh, Dragon Ball card game uh, card pack openings, is that the idea of, like, I actually just want to play that <laughs> instead. <laughs> the, the card game version of it. But it's also been, like, years since I've played a physical card game, which I think that's why I'm like, I want to play this. Because it's just yeah. been freaking way too long since I last played it. And there's like a card game shop right next to me. Uh, the only problem is is that I have no money. So it doesn't really make sense for me to go out and start investing heavily into what is an extremely... Uh, I worked. I was getting really pissed <laughs> off. Yeah. By the way, dude, you're also playing Legends in the background. How is your... How did, who's winning so far? Uh, we're Three. playing game two. Who won the first uh, game? I, I won the first game. Okay, thank you for validating everything <laughs> by being <laughs> Zen. Really? He might win the second one. I, I tried to use the counter and he used the rush. That would have been perfect if it were. <laughs> I mean, you have no idea how mad I'd have been. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Damn. So, yeah, that's what... Uh... I forgot what I was going to say. Again... 
as we're nearing close to the end of the video, because we're getting close to 10 minutes and I'm almost out of my uh, my stamina here, you should check out Captain Tsubasa. I, dr I dug up the Corpse of War collection for this specific reason. <laughs> Specifically for this video. Yeah, because this is the only uh, mobile game that I wish to play that has Captain Tsubasa in it. Because, uh, again, he was in Athlete's team, and Athlete's was one of my favorite teams, even though, like, um, it featured uh, four units that I... No, three units that I didn't really care much about, which was Captain Tsubasa, the Tennis Boy, and Mihawk from One Piece. Yes. Uh, it was still Mihawk's one of my uh, favorite Up to your athlete, Mihawk from One Piece. Yeah. <laughs> Again, he was a fantastic... This is what was so good about Orc Collection is that Mihawk fit on athletes. <laughs> so you had a bunch of people like literally throwing uh, soccer balls at people and then you had fucking Mihawk with his big ass sword just standing oh there. Uh, being able to take all the uh, the damage away from Dai because Dai was a... And Dai is still a threat as far as I'm concerned, but... Oh man, this is the final fight, and then it's goodbye to, for Or Collection until Or Collection Two comes out in whenever the two year for Or Collection is, because I realized at some point that they're gonna save Or Collection Two for when the two year would have been for Or Collection One. That's dumb. It is dumb, but so is Or, or Collection. So is everybody's or not playing Or Collection anyway. I wonder why it's still growing. I guess it still has a pretty good player base then. Do they just not drop new banners? Was no, he they, legit the last one? Like legit, they've only been putting out PvP nonstop. So here's the reason why some people are keep playing. All your uh, currency carries over. So if you keep playing or Collection 1, you'll basically be stacked for or Collection 2. The only thing is, is that I just literally don't have it in me to fight. The problem, Let me show you. I'll see the current leaderboards and tell you who's in number 1. Because it's pretty close to, I believe, uh, the final day for PvP. Let me see. Uh, current number 1. So you're saying it's smart to maybe still at least log in. Or collection. I would say so. If you care about enough about or collection too, and you don't want to spend a lot of money, logging in every day gets you enough to um uh to get some bonuses because you get a bonus for how many days you logged into or collection for collection two. So here I'm currently at the top 100, and the number one 100 player is uh, rank 1,827. <laughs> Oh, wow. So if you remember during the high days, people were in the 2000s by this point. And the number one player has uh, 2,639 points, and it is a uh, cool-headed team. It is Yoko Kurama in the front, so it's still the, the most motherfucker team at number one. Yikes. Yeah. God damn it. So that's our collection. So... We're we'll on this video right here. You'll never hear the outcome of match two for Zenrod and D Free, so you're gonna have to figure that out later. <laughs> Maybe We're we'll on talk match three now, my boy. Oh, who won match two then? I did. All right, good, <laughs> good. I wanted. I like hearing Zenrod losing. <laughs> he just lost his KL. That's nice. Nice. Yeah. This is all very good. You're even using the team I was using against him, Zen. Have you no shame? <laughs> have you no decency? What? <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we're going to say goodbye, everyone. Remember to check out Captain Subasa. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> See ya.